hello all so so far we have uh, dealt with the problems where the solid is resting on the ground right in all the previous questions we kept the solids on the ground assume the perspective of a fan which is hanging from the roof right so such in such cases the solids are hanged from the roof or placed on auxiliary ground plane so what do you mean by the term auxiliary ground plane auxiliary ground plane is a plane which is parallel to the ground plane at a particular height okay just like our roof so in this question in the coming problem we are discussing a cube which is placed on an auxiliary ground plane so we can move to the question the question is a cube 25 mm side is placed vertically with the one of its one of its edges on the picture plane and the top square end face touching an auxiliary ground plane at a height of 45 mm above the horizon plane the vertical edge found by the two adjacent rectangular faces which are inclined at 45 degree to the picture plane touches the picture plane draw the perspective view of the cone if the station point is 70 mm in front of the picture plane and lies in the central plane which is 55 mm to the right side of the center of the cube so this is the question so the problem is a cube 25 mm side is placed vertically with one of its edges on the picture plane and the top square end face touching an auxiliary ground plane at a height of 45 mm above the horizon plane see if this is your cube one edge is touching the picture plane see touching the picture plane and the top square end face this is the top square end face touching an auxiliary ground plane which is at a height of 45 mm above the horizon plane what do you mean by horizon plane horizon plane is the plane which is passing through the station point at a height of 45 from the horizon plane this cube touches the auxiliary ground plane okay so there is a cube one of its end touches the picture plane and the top square end face touching an auxiliary ground plane so this is the top square end face which touches the auxiliary ground plane okay then one more point is given the vertical edge formed by the two adjacent rectangular faces which are inclined 45 degree with the the vertical faces is inclined 45 degree with the picture plane means the cube will be in the top view the cube will be like this that means in the top view you can see the cube as a diamond okay so the size of the cube is 25 mm and in the top view you can see the cube as a diamond with one end touching the picture plane so we can start with the picture plane this is your picture plane then select a point and draw the cube 25 mm cube name it as this is top view so a b c d e f g and h now in the previous questions we are drawing the auxiliary ground plane right oh, sorry ground line right but in this question it is placed on the auxiliary ground line so in this question no ground line is needed rather we can draw a line which is called auxiliary ground line how we are taking this distance that i will explain later so draw projections as this is auxiliary ground line the solid will be hanged like this or placed like this so from that point downwards we have to draw the front view okay so this will be 25 as it is a cube this will be 25 
so here this will be a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash g dash and h dash o1 dash and o2 dash i hope all of you have understood because this all all you have understood this one actually this is placed on the auxiliary ground line so from that auxiliary ground line we have to draw downwards for obtaining the front view okay now where is the central plane it is given that central plane is lying 55 cm towards right from the center so this is the center and at a distance of 55 we can draw a vertical line and that line will contain the central plane now it is given that uh, the station point is 70 mm in front of the picture plane right so this is picture plane 70 mm in front of the picture plane means uh, this will be our sp provided this distance is 70 now we have to obtain sp dash how can we obtain station point sp dash because usually it will be given us above the ground line right but in this question since there is no ground plane no such value is given then how can we obtain sp dash if you read the question you can see that the cube is placed on an auxiliary ground line which is at a height of 45 mm above the horizon plane so if this is the auxiliary ground line at a distance of 45 mm from here we can obtain the horizon plane what do you mean by the term horizon plane horizon plane is the plane which is passing through the station point if this is a station point this is a horizon plane so horizon plane is the plane passing through the station point so if we have auxiliary ground line then at a distance of 45 mm from there in the downward direction you will get the auxiliary ground you will get the horizon plane and that itself is the station point at the intersection with the central plane if we extend the horizon plane it will intersect the central point central plane and that point will be our sp dash so this is auxiliary ground line at a distance of 45 mm from the auxiliary ground line you will get the horizon plane and that will intersect the central plane and that can be taken as sp dash okay so now we have obtained the sp as well as sp dash now rest is the usual procedure a1 e1 since b and f are touching the picture plane this will be the perspective projection also then d1 h1 c1 g1 and o11 o21 draw perpendicular from here this will be capital e this will be capital a this will be capital d this will be capital h so this will be capital g this will be capital c so a b f e connection is a b f e so connect a b f e and a so a b f and e now c d h g this is d where is c C D H G. 
So this is border, this is border, this border. So you will get a solid like this. Now you can draw the dimensions. So I hope all of you have understood this question.